Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then come on in. My name is Esgi and I'm a 28 year old doctor. Today I'll be filming you a house tour. So we moved into our house with my husband in 2018, April. And since then I've had loads of comments and messages about doing this video. However, we weren't quite 100% and we were, were not 100% now but I don't think we'll ever be. So I'm just gonna get on and do it. So I hope you like it. Please don't forget to leave me comments and um, like this video if you do, and don't forget to subscribe. So we're gonna start off by our entrance. We have these big glass doors um, and a porch outside, which helps get lots of light into our um, hallway. And then um, once we come through from the doors, we are in our hallway. Um, which is a really good size and we have our kitchen going on to the left we have the living room straight ahead and we have a toilet and a cloakroom and actually what I'm going to do in this video is put in some old footage of what the house used to look like because we've made some big changes so I'll show you our toilet first so we went for these green tiles, which we got from one of the online tile stores I can link down below. And we just have a single toilet in here with a corner sink and a mirror to complete everything off. And then there's a window up there which gets light from the porch area. So that's the toilet. We then move into our cloakroom. So this area was basically just a corner of the house. And what we did is we got a door put on. We put up a clothing rail to put all of our coats in. I hung my um, Dyson Hoover up and it's just a little area that we dump all our bags and bits and bobs throughout the house. So this is the entrance to our kitchen. So this was an old internal garage that we whipped out and converted it into a kitchen. So here we go. This is originally where the door of the garage was and we got rid of it. We built up a wall and then put a window in um, and put the sink right in front. So I went for a white sink. I think it really brightens up the place and it really complements the white kitchen. I've got my little plant pots here for my Kia. I had herbs in them originally, but they weren't growing very well, so I swapped them out for some indoor plants. And then I've got my white kettle. So as you can see, our kitchen is white and grey. We got our kitchen from B&Q. I went for a greyish, silverish worktop and complemented that with some grey tiles. Um, because sometimes this area doesn't get too much light, I wanted to make it white so it gets um, it's as bright as it can be. So what did we do? We've got the sink, we've got our integrated dishwasher here um, and then we have our boiler in this unit here. We didn't go for any tiles for um, the kitchen um, we only painted them with this special white kitchen paint that's easy to wipe. We added this um, blue splashback to add a bit of colour and I've sort of tried to, you know, use some blue items to match the splashback. We have an induction hob. So these are really useful. They're so easy to clean. They use much less electricity. They specifically our one it has a timer so I can um, time something how long I want it to cook for and I can have a shower for example or sit in the living room and I don't have to be waiting by it and then also if anything spills on this then it automatically switches off which is great for me and we've just got our utensils and I've got a little area in the corner for our cookbooks so we're trying to get a bit creative with the recipes that we're doing specifically because we um take lunch to work as well so I started off my little collection with Jamie Oliver's five ingredients and the classics by Mary Berry and a couple of um, dessert books so that's that corner then we have the microwave and the oven so these have been integrated as well the microwave is slightly too high um, this area could have been smaller but it's fine we've gotten used to it now 
um, and it's just really handy to have that away sort of out from the worktops and into the cupboards. And then we have our fridge freezer. So it, it, we were quite lucky that the space underneath the stairs that was facing the inside of the garage was a really good space and fitted really well with this fridge freezer. It's as if it was made for this area. So we pop that in there. And then we've got this extra section. So what happened was we had an extra worktop left over from when we were doing the kitchen. And I saw um, in the in B and Q's showroom actually something similar like this, and we thought, why don't we pop a few legs on it, um, and mount it to the wall, put a couple of um, bar stools which are also from B and Q, and then just have this extra worktop space, an area that we could just have quick breakfast in the morning, and it just really complements the whole place, I think. So on here, I've just got my fruit bowl. I've got the classic tea, coffee, sugar. Um, containers then here we have the most used item of the kitchen believe it or not and um, me and my husband love coffee and we're always using this and um, so we've got our Nespresso capsules which we've got a few non Nespresso ones in there as well um, and this is great because it comes with its own milk frother which is so easy and it's really easy to clean and it just saves so much time I love it and then here we go we have and my little cheap basket for all of our onions and garlic and potatoes and so on. I think this was just a tenner in Ikea and I've just put it in like that. So this wall here was a closed off wall and we um, smashed through it and made an opening that could allow us to go into the living room. So we have an opening here into the living room and we have an opening here into the hallway, which makes the kitchen like the hub of the home and it's really easy to get to. So walking in, we have our living room. So I'll show you where the old kitchen was actually. So here is the wall of the old kitchen and it was up to about here and it was a closed off area um, with a small kitchen window here. So what we did is we got rid of the kitchen, put a beam up the top here, we took the window all the way down to the bottom to match the other side and basically just added it into the living room to make this really nice big space. So I'll talk you through it all. We've got our floor lamp here which is from Homebase. Um, and the legs of this were originally a bit lighter and I painted them darker to match some of the furniture that we have. We've got these radiators that are really easy to clean and um, we bought them online. I think it was from bestheating.com or something like that. And then we have our fireplace. So originally there was a gas fireplace in here, but we didn't really like that. Um, I was a bit scared of using it actually in case it's, it was leaking and stuff like that. So anyways, we converted it into a electric fireplace, which you can either switch on for it to look like this, or you can actually open the heating, turn on the heating of it as well to blow out some hot air. And on top of the fireplace, we have this lovely feature clock. So this is something I got from Amazon for about £10. Um, you stick on these digits and then in the middle you have a little clock um, with the hands and it just goes round and round and it's actually quite accurate as well um, so I really like that and then we have lovely pictures here from our wedding um, a stone from a volcano from when we went to Santorini on our honeymoon and then just some little plants here and then we have our TV and TV unit. So our TV is by Samson and this dressing table is actually something that was left behind by the old lady that lived here before she moved out. It was a wooden finish and what we did was we took off the mirror that was behind it, we um, took out all of the drawers, we painted it grey and white and basically assembled it back together and decided to use it as a TV stand. And it's worked out really well. It's went really well with the living room and it's a really good height as well. So we've got these big sliding doors here with 
the curtains um, and I really like the fact that we're so close to the garden and the garden is level with our house because it just feels like one big space and then here we have our sofas so we opted for a two-seater and a three-seater with a white coffee table um, that we've put a glass protector tape tampered tapered whatever glass on top and um, to stop it from getting scratched so these three and the armchair there they're from a Turkish brand called Bellona and they have, have they have a couple of branches in London so the material of these are really great because whenever you get anything on them you just wipe them with a damp cloth and it's just gone so we've got our mustard yellow um, pillows with these sort of bluey green pillows and they've got this nice sort of buttoned effect which I really like and then we've got the three seater here which opens up into a bed um, and I really like it because we usually just open it up for our movie nights so that we get more comfy and it's really nice then we move over to the dining area here so this dining table is from Ikea and the bench is also from Ikea we opted to get a bench um, on one side just to make the space look more open I didn't want sort of chairs getting in the way so we've got this wooden coloured bench that goes with the sort of colouring at the bottom of our sofas and we teamed them up with some mustard coloured cushions that I got from TK Maxx and we've just gone for the white finish with the grey cushions so what's great about this table is that it extends from the side outwards into an eight seater and i really like that because i don't like it when extendable tables have like a big crack in the middle and then that's where you open it up from so this is really good you can't even tell if it's an extendable table and then we have this area so story about this i went into tk maxx to get something like i think it was a, something garden related like a garden sprinkler something and basically i came out with this 200 pound cabinet but it was so nice and I felt like it would go really nice in this corner which it did so it's just this um, mirrored cabinet um, with these the drawer at the top and I've just put up some of our photos some of these frames still need to be filled so this is my wedding flowers that I've dried off and this is my flowers from the engagement that I dried off um, so basically I just need to get photos to finish them off and one in here so we just got our photos from graduation, photos with our family. Um, yeah, that's that corner. And then in the living room, last but not least, we have this other corner. So we have this armchair that was an extra and didn't really fit with the whole design in this area. So I put it in front of this window and it's basically like my little quiet area. I read here, sometimes have a cup of coffee and just basically enjoy the view um, of the garden. And also we've got the floor lamp again, which is the same one from home base. And yeah, I just sit here and enjoy the view. That's the downstairs complete. So now let's go upstairs. Also to mention, you've probably noticed that I have carpet everywhere in my house, um, besides the kitchen and the bathrooms. We've gone for this nice grey finish from Carpet Right, and it's um, quite a bit thicker than usual carpet, so it's really comfy and lush. I love it. So as we get up to the landing, the first room that we enter is our bedroom. So we have decided, well, I have decided to go for this blush pink um, bed with these button details. I really like it. Um, I feel like it adds a lot of colour to the room. However, sometimes it's difficult to find good matching duvets, but that's a whole different issue. And I've paired that up with some mirrored bedside cabinets and a grey um, bedside lamp to the right we have my dressing table so we've gone for a white glossy finished table with this clear chair and this Hollywood um, mirror that lights up I'll show you 
and it's really nice um, when you're doing your makeup and just getting ready although it does sometimes show things that you don't actually want to see but that's a different problem um, and we have our fitted wardrobes so basically as you've seen downstairs we have a fireplace and the chimney breast comes up through this room it was really awkward to work around it we couldn't put the bed in front we couldn't get a wardrobe in front so we opted to get some fitted wardrobes and they fitted it around the chimney breast and made the space inside really useful so these um, wardrobes we've gone for a glossy white finish with these crystal handles and this was from Hammonds, which do sort of fitted furniture, mainly bedrooms, but they do other things as well. So just neighbouring from our bedroom is the guest bedroom. It's very simple. We haven't really done much with it. We've just got a double bed from Ikea, which is our old bed before we got the pink one. Um, and we've got this wardrobe here that was left behind by the old owner, which was the set of that dressing table. So we also painted it grey and white. Um, and I thought it just looked really nice. And this mirror here is the mirror that we dismantled from the dressing table. So again, we painted it grey to match the room. And we have just got a teddy bear in the corner, which was a gift for me from my husband a couple of years ago. And again, we don't really have um, any curtains in here either, which is something we need to do. Apart from that, there's not much to it, to be honest. And then we enter our third bedroom. This is probably our most unfinished room at the moment. It's just a mix between a workout area, a working area with my Mac that has a broken screen, um, just a printer and um, this chair and table so this table is from ikea the chair is also from ikea the um cushion on top of the chair is from um, a place called the range which has a loads of household stuff again no curtains looks out into the garden and then we come onto this section here so i think i discussed this in a previous video so this cabinet here is actually a kitchen cabinet which I added some legs to some door handles and put a bit of MDF at the top and covered it with a marble effect sticker um, and I just store all my books and that sort of stuff in here just like that and then this is an area that I still need to finish up it's just got my university certificates and my husband's um, degree certificate and that sort of stuff coming out from that bedroom we have the bathroom. So we only have one bathroom upstairs, um, but it's a really good size. I'll also show you some footage of what it looked like before. So it was this old sort of green bath suite um, with um, old tiles and we ripped that all apart and we actually changed the orientation of the bathroom. Um, so it's gonna sound a bit echoey in here, but what we've done is we've gone for the same tiles that we have downstairs in the toilet. I have this little plant here that I got from Ikea. We've got a nice big basin which has these drawers at the bottom where I can store all of my cleaning products. And then we've got this nice big mirror that I got from b and Q. It's really nice and handy and it adds a lot of light to the bathroom. And this is the bathroom. So we decided to go for a bathtub, but one that had a bigger end so we can use it as a nice big shower. And we've just got tiling all the way to the top with a nice big shower head. And then I just brought this from um, Amazon to store all of our bath products. And then we have our towel rack, which is the main source of heating in the bathroom. But we've also got some underfloor heating. And um, what, what they did was they put the pipes um, all along the floor of the bathroom. So whenever the heater's on, we also get some nice warm um, floor tiles as well. And then I just pair them up with some nice green mats. These are from TK Maxx, but they're originally the DKNY brand. Obviously they're really cheap because they're in TK Maxx and that just, that's really nice.
And then last but not least, we have a little utility room. So our utility room is upstairs because that's the best place that we could find for it. So we've got this nice big cupboard um, in here, which we've been able to put our Samson um, washing machine and our Bosch tumble dryer. Um, I've got my scales here, which I try not to use too much. And then we, I just keep my iron and my cleaning products and all of our kitchen towels and toilet paper and all my towels and bits and bobs, ironing board, all get stuffed in here. So this is a really useful space for me. So that's it for the video, guys. I'm really hoping that you like that. Obviously, everyone's um, choices and design ideas are different so this was ours and this is what we wanted to do with our home hopefully it gave you some ideas if you're in the middle of decorating or if you want to change up your home as well leave me comments about anything that you'd like to ask me and thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye